I want you to welcome back to the program. We've got with us the Texas director for the gun owners of America. Rachel Malone is back with us. Rachel, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, so glad that you're uh, you're up with us this morning. And I saw this, and this is why I wanted to have you on. Um, we haven't really talked about this, but there's uh, something that's being pushed through the Senate right now, uh, the Violence Against Women Act. And, you know, with a title like that, how in the world, are, are, you know, would there be anything wrong with it? But there's, there's some gun uh, language in there, isn't there? Absolutely, there is, and you're right. I mean, how how can anybody oppose something that helps keep women safe? But it's it's just a disguise to try to push through red flag laws and gun control. I saw your piece um, up at uh, gunowners.org. Uh, why women oppose the Violence Against Women Act? So, I mean, why is the Violence Against Women Act actually not good for women? Well, in a nutshell, it's not good for women because. It simply purports to take more guns away from more people. Um, it, it sets up a structure uh, so that any dating partner or former dating partner can go get an ex parte order, meaning they can go to a judge by themselves without the other person being there to defend themselves, and they can say, oh, you know, my, date, my former dating partner is being abusive. I don't think he or she should have guns, and the guns are taken away uh, from that d former dating partner. And the insidious thing is that, of course, this hurts women who might actually have been in an abusive relationship, and the abuser is accusing them, the victim, of being the abusive one. And maybe that woman has a handgun for self-defense and is trying to get out of that abusive relationship. And so the gun could actually get taken away from the victim, um, from the innocent, law-abiding, peaceful victim who's trying to be empowered and take care of herself and maybe get out of a dangerous situation. And taking away her means of self-defense means maybe she's stuck in that abusive situation. So it actually increases potentially violence against women. Isn't this kind of also like a, it sounds like it's like a red flag law, right? Because Absolutely. Absolutely. It's red flag law. It's just, you know, they, they, they tried to bring up red flag laws and grassroots reacted strongly against it. So they said, oh, you know what? Okay, we won't do red flag right now, but let's just rebrand it. Let's just start something else and bring it right back up. And of course, you can't turn down something that protects women, right? So right. that's exactly what they're doing. It's a red flag law. Like, yeah, it's the title <laughs> of the bill, To Cure Cancer. I mean, you know, that, that's that's what they do. That's what this, uh -huh. um, this is. We've seen this this movie before. Okay, so this is, I'm quoting your piece. Many women like myself carry guns for self-defense from thugs and criminals. But provisions in the Disarm Women Act would allow for any dating partner or former dating partner to strip a gun-owning woman of her constitutional rights with just a phone call to a judge. A woman's guns are confiscated with no warning, no due process, just like a red flag law. In fact, we've had a lot of experience with these quickie proceedings, and we know that they are often used by an angry ex to extract revenge on a former partner. And then you talk about a California example. So this is not yes. hypotheticals. We actually have, you know, these instances where it's actually happened. Tell us about California. Exactly, exactly. So California has a red flag law, um, and this is one of many examples we could use, but there was a cheating husband. Um, who used his state's red flag law, he used California's red flag law, went to a judge and said, oh, my, my abusive wife has a gun, please take it away. And they took away his wife's Glock under the red flag law. Um, so, you know, I guess, I guess he's afraid of her finding out and, and getting free from him. I'm not sure exactly what the situation was, but, yeah, that's how he used it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is, uh, it, it's a huge problem. So what... Do you, I mean, what's going to happen? I mean, do you think this is going to get through the Senate? I mean, I know it got through the House. Um, right. So right now it's in a little bit of state of limbo um, be, because it's summer and they're, they're taking some breaks. So, it yes, it, it passed the House. Uh, the Pelosi's House was very excited about it. And there was a, you, you could definitely say there was a bipartisan vote. Uh, it, was, it was not just Democrats who supported this bill in the House. And that's why we're worried about it, and that's why we need a lot of public pressure in the Senate. So the Senate is looking at it now. Um, I was in D.C. with GOA a few weeks ago to meet with uh, some staffers and let them know um, in no way, shape, or form should they ever consider anything like a red flag law. 
Um, I, I specifically let them know that when uh, Texas tried to bring that up last year, <laughs> grassroots shot it down and made it clear that nobody was going to get reelected if they ever tried a red flag law. So I hope that struck a chord with some of our senators. But yeah, we're, we're trying to encourage them now to get rid of all the anti-gun provisions in the Violence Against Women Act. Um, the, the bill that what they're trying to do is a reauthorization, but adding a lot of stuff to the bill. And we just are saying, get rid of that extra stuff you're adding to it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. There's, you know, there's got to be, well, there, maybe not, who knows, but there's probably some good things in this bill. You know, the Violence Against Women Act, uh, they've just now added this, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it certainly is a problem. Um, and so, yeah, the, the, the goal would be for the Senate Republicans to just take this language out uh, and and pass it without it, and then of course you know we can get reauthorized. I'm sure the House will throw a fit, but I mean you know th- this really is something that uh, is a is a foot in the door. We know that uh, the left's goal. I mean we've talked about this before, Rachel, but the left's goal is to confiscate our guns. It, it just mm-hmm. is. That's that's what they want to do. And so any mm-hmm. any you know any way to move that needle uh, is a threat to us. Exactly. And I, I say all the time, modern gun control, I don't think it looks like the legislature passing some law that immediately forces everybody to give up every single one of their guns and sending all the military to the door to take away guns. I don't think they're stupid enough to do that. But what they are going to do is pass bills like this that take it away, take guns away from select uh, groups of the population. And they're conditioning people more and more to think it's okay to do that. So to, for the government to decide who you know, <laughs> from whom they can take away guns. And pretty soon, people are going to wake up and say, oh, now today I'm in that group that gets my guns taken away. Yeah. Yeah, you are exactly right about that. And, um, you know, he- here's the thing um, with with women. Um, you know, they, I would say in this situation, uh, the, the point could be made that they're the ones that need the, the guns. You know, if you're if you're a woman and you're in an abusive relationship, all of a sudden that gun is a is an equalizer you know it's a it's a if anything a deterrent and you know there's a lot of people uh, i mean i know here in arkansas we've had politicians you know that uh you know certainly encourage with with our constitutional carry situation that we have if you are in an abusive relationship we've encouraged like an educational effort to let a woman know that you don't need a permit you know you don't have to get a permission slip from the government that you can go arm yourself to protect yourself right now and a lot of women uh, don't know that here here in our state. So, you know, if there's going to be any chance that this law makes it harder for a woman to defend herself against a and see that's what's so interesting. It's very ironic that this provision is in the Violence Against Women Act, and hopefully that point, uh-huh. you know, hopefully that point will resonate with some Republicans in the Senate. Yeah, well, I think that if the feminists had any moral consistency, they'd be the best gun rights activists in the world because guns empower women like nothing else. Um, I, I grew up observing domestic violence, and it's horrible. I don't do anything to stop violence against women. Um, but, but taking away more guns doesn't because I've also seen women who are so courageous and ready to take the steps to get out of a horrible, abusive relationship and protect themselves and protect their kids. And it, just mere gun ownership and the, the idea of, that uh, for a woman who's being abused, the idea that, you know, I could actually protect myself and my kids and I could get us out of here. I hate to see anything that strips her of that empowerment. And that's exactly what this bill does. It disempowers women. It, it steps backwards for what, for what women's rights activists have been trying to do for a long time. Yeah. Terrible bill. It really is. Well, let's hope that it. Uh, let's hope that it changes. And uh, I really mm-hmm. appreciate the work that you're doing, Rachel, and the work that Gun Owners of America is doing. And I, it's always great to have you on the program, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Paul. You too. All righty. Thank you, Rachel. Folks, uh, this this portion of the program was brought to you by the Patriots of X seven four six. Now, if you don't know, the Patriots of X seven four six are an Arkansas based uh, group. I mean, they're they're the, they're on the forefront they're grassroots they're cutting edge when it comes to this idea of constitutional carry in the state of arkansas did you know that you don't need according to the law according to a court case tap versus the state of arkansas and according to the uh, arkansas general assembly that just met 
who passed two resolutions declaring that they agree with the Taft decision and that you don't need a permit to carry a gun open or concealed. Patriots Vax 746 has been advocating this since 2013, July of 2013. And they've been working with local law enforcement. They've been working with lawmakers, uh, forming, uh, you know, basically just verbal partnerships and agreements about what the law says. And because of their work, we are more free to exercise our human right of self-defense. I mean, that is, I want you to understand that. Like, that is such a success, and it is undeniably true that that's what the Patriots of X-746 has done. They have a massive grassroots army. You can find them on Facebook. If you go to Facebook.com and search for the Patriots of X-746, it's a closed group, but ask to become part of the group. And uh, it's a, you know, it is it is certainly one in, in light of all of the corruption in Arkansas, and, and, we're, and they're still fighting. Because we, we do know the Arkansas State Police is, <clears throat> uh, they are at odds right now with the courts. Arkansas State Police are at odds with the courts, the judicial branch. They're at odds with the legislative branch because they are refusing to publicly, publicly admit what the law says, how it was changed in 2013. But you still have prosecutors that won't make, that will, won't charge people. You have police officers that won't charge people and then you of course you have the court case um but they are fighting for your rights and there are they're having success so i want you to go to facebook uh if you haven't this this is uh when it comes to your second amendment rights which when, when we say second amendment we're talking about your natural god-given right to self-preservation and uh, defense check them out and become part of the online sensation today.